What is good with y'all, man? It's your boy Unseen. We coming at y'all with another King Los reaction, man. King Los, the boy. The boy, King Los. Oh, man. This one is too forgot about Dre. Hey, man, King Los is just that dude. He's cut like that. He's just cut like that. If you guys haven't already checked out my King Los reactions, man, I reacted to his LA Leakers freestyle probably about a year ago. And also, I just reacted to his Lemon Pepper freestyle, which went stupid. So I can only expect greatness to come from, from this Forgot About Dre freestyle. Oh, man. Let's see what he's got to say. King Los has been, he's hungry, bro. I feel like he's always hungry. He's always, he always want the smoke. Before we get into Forgot About Dre from King Los, if you guys could drop a like on the video, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new, man. We out here, we trying to break these algorithms, you know the vibes, and, and we we trying to spread a similar message that King Los is on. I know King Los is part of this conscious community, man. I know King Los is on that shit, so that's what we about. So if you guys are, are on the same shit, feel free to subscribe to the channel, man. Without further ado, man, let's get into the reaction. Let's go. All right, so if you're new to the channel, basically the way I do my reactions is I'm heavily focused on the lyrics, especially when we got rappers like King Lowe. So what I try to do is break down the lyrics as best as I can, try to look for triple, double entendres, wordplay, just a deep message overall. Pretty much just about all aspects of the lyrics on King Lowe's part. And we also like to vibe out. So I I'm always down for a good time, man. So let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. I haven't listened to Forgot About Dre in a cool Nowadays, minute. Everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move okay. their but some... Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yo, y'all know me, the bar innovator, the nigga who in hip hop would call in a favor, can make your favorite rapper dissolve in a vapor, the miracle bar and lyrical Darwin, spiritual solving, y'all niggas could evolve into later, can't compare the alpha dog to these betas, rappers capping, yapping affidavits, imagine that a habitat of fish. Oh my god, bro. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I say this in all my King Lowe's videos, is the vocabulary. The vocabulary and the delivery are the two things that I swear stand out the most when you listen to King Lowe's. He knows how to, he knows his punchlines. He knows his punchlines and he, he just uses words that I feel like are not used enough in everyday sentences. I, I barely even know some of the shit he talks about. And it's crazy because I listen to Daylight and Daylight I feel like is, is way more complex with his schemes than King Lowe's, but I feel like his vocabulary King Los has just got that vocabulary on him. He's just braggadocious right now, so let's let's just appreciate greatness, man. He's he's got a crazy flow. You, you gotta give him that. His flow is off the charts, bro. Shit, I had to black on cats and blast the matrix. Ain't that a bitch? The data glitch. I black on cats. Was that a glitch? I'm too extreme. Was that a twitch? Catastrophic cataclysm. Too extreme. Was that a twitch? Bro, I'm just playing games with academics. Have to give me skits. Ooh. I'm in Robert. That was Kimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I told y'all. He knows the vibes. I'm in Robert. That was Kimmy. That's what we fuck with over here, man. He said, I'm too extreme. Was that a twitch? Because you think of like you think of extreme sports or like I'm too extreme. I'm was that a twitch? Because he's probably like I I'm on some crazy shit, so I'm probably twitching like I'm a fiend or something like that. Like uh, was that a twitch? Because you be twitching when you're fiending and shit. So yeah. And he said, "Boy, I'm just playing games with academics." Because twitch. Ooh, this is a shameless twitch plug, but he's saying twitch and I'm playing games because you vi you stream games over on Twitch. And your boy streams games over on Twitch, so go check me out on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Unseen6, man. You know the vibes, man. I had to get that plug in. King Los just... King Los and, and, and we're just on point right now. The, the, the chemistry with King Los. He knows your boy stream on Twitch. So come on, man. I had to mention that though. But that's just some that's just some wordplay. That's just some wordplay because he's talking about like twitching, like actual twitching and shit, and also Twitch playing games with academics. DJ academics and shit. He he be over on Twitch too. So yeah. In, in academics, you, we all know DJ Academics, bro. Come on. Sorry to mention Amin Ra, and that was Kemet. That's the real shit right there. I'm telling y'all, Kemet means Egypt, and Amin Ra is one of the gods. That's where the word Amen comes from. If you ever wonder where Amen, when you say Amen in Christianity, it comes from Amen Ra, which is from Kemet, Egypt. So let's keep going, man. Listen, your favorite rapper been a lowest practice. Then try to claim it with a dose tactics. I'm the hip hop thrift shop. Cause soon as they think the flow's old jacket. On the second hand, fuck all of you dudes. When you see me in the flesh, they got all the I'm talking to you. It's funny how they scared to converse, but still wanna walk in my shoes. Study a nigga, yeah. Too, you know yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still trying to put the lines together in my head. So that's why I caught this shit mad late. But it's I, I heard it, man. I heard it. I heard it. Your favorite rapper been at Los practice, then try to claim it 
what are those tactics facts they be try to they be trying to steal shit nowadays they be trying to steal shit and they be trying to say shit is their own when when people been we when people like king los and daylight have been doing this shit i'm the hip-hop thrift shop because soon as they think the flow's old jacket bro as soon as they think the flow is old they they jack it they they take it they they hijack it he's talking about they try to claim this shit for themselves they jack it they take it they hijack it and also he was talking about hip-hop thrift shop in an old jacket bro because you, you find old jackets at a thrift shop come on man he said on the second hand fuck all of you dudes when you see me in the flesh looking awkward confused yeah i'm talking to you it's funny how they scared to converse but still want to walk in my shoes converse in the walk in my shoes because the converse chuck taylor's shoes and also they they're scared to converse they're scared they're scared to talk with me they're scared to talk right they're, they're scared to interact but they still want to walk in my shoes they still want to be in my place Study a nigga, taking notes, jack the cadence, make the quotes, make it yours, don't make it loose, just make it close. Holy shit, you're making clothes. The government gon' think that I'm making clothes. Take your bones, make a fossil, you too nosy, break your nostril, blazing shots and take you hostage. Blame my city, made me hostile. What they rapping into today's recital, niggas trash. King Lowe's, bro. The flow is so good. And I, I, I it's like daylight, because when they start rapping fast, and I know they're saying double entendres with wordplay in there. While they're doing it and rapping fast, I, I start to just get overwhelmed and I start to like just give up. I'm like, fuck, I don't know what wordplay there is. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is what having the lyrics does is it helps me, having the lyrics helps me reel back in. It helps me reread over what the fuck he just said so I can catch it for myself. The government gonna think that I'm making clones. Hey, what you, what you know about making them clones, bro? King Los, what you know about that? Take your bones, make a fossil, you too nosy, break your nostril, because the nostril, right? You too nosy, the nose. And also, like, he's talking about bones, because the nostril, like, if there's bones attached to it and everything, yeah, that's a bar right there. And also, fossil is bones, de like, the bones of dinosaurs, right? All right, let's keep going, man. What they rapping in today's recital? Niggas trash, they made recycle. I'm the God and they disciples. Wrote a script and made a Bible. Bit my shit and made us rivals. Evil king, my latest title. I'm a hell of a specimen. and never been a fella of impressing them. Now I'm pressing them. The president of extraterrestrials. That's a professional. Give them these bars. That's a correctional. Box them in with the truth. That's a confession. Stop it. Stop it, King Los. You gotta chill, bro. You gotta chill. It's only a two-minute freestyle. And he's trying to get he's trying to get in everything. He's trying to get it all in there. Oh my God, pause. <laughs> my man's just really trying to wrap his ass off for two minutes, like make sure he's not missing nothing. He's coming with his all. He said what they rapping in today's recital, dudes is trash, they may recycle, because recycle, trash, you take out the trash, you recycle trash. And also like, when, when, when he's talking about rappers, right? What are they rapping in today, today's day and age? And then he said recycle, because it's like a cycle. It's like a, it's like a cycle. And, and also the lines that people be using today are recycled lines. That's like another double entendre with the word recycle, meaning the the shit the shit that rappers are rapping today is trash, and it's it's a part of a newer cycle. It's part of a new cycle. Oof. He said, "Give them these bars." That's a correctional, because a correctional facility, the prison bars, like there's bars. You're behind bars in the in the correctional facility, and also give them these bars that's a correctional meaning like i'll give you the real shit I'll, I'll spit bars for you because that's how i correct the bullshit that i hear nowadays that's correct it's correcting that oh man the double entendre and he said box them in with the truth that's a confessional oh my god because bro i didn't even catch that until now you box people you box them in right you put them in a box with the truth that's a confessional because you got to think about it in like the confessional room or like the prayer room in a church it's a box you're in a box right physically location you're it's a box you also have a prayer box you have like the, the confessional box i ain't even been to church so i don't know if that's the right terminology but i know you got a box that you put all the prayers in bro this is a triple entendre i just told y'all two meanings the last meaning is is like figuratively box them in with the truth so you you cloud them with the truth. You keep spreading the truth. The more and more you box someone in with the truth, the more and more likely 
the more and more likely they're going to confess. The more and more you keep bringing up evidence, the more and more they're going to confess. That's a confessional. Bro, come on. The thing is, is I can't hear that when he's rapping so fast. That's why having the lyrics is very important, man. Let's keep going. Father, please, if we rap like him, it take us farther, please. Then they think intrinsically some way when I see him do this shit, they leave their father, please. But your father piss. Little niggas always trying to piss like they father piss. Hop off my dick. What I'm really trying to say is your shit ain't hard as this. Yo, okay, 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 King Los. King Los is, yo, King Los, I, he's hungry, bro. He's hungry and, and he has not fallen off in terms of his lyrical ability. He's always coming with it. Always. He said, like, father, please, if we rap like him, take us farther, please. Yeah, because he's talking about the confessional, the, the truth. Yeah. Now he's talking like, father, please, because it's talking about God. Do you call God the father? Because it's talking about, we were talking about the prayer room and shit. And also, like, father, please, just picture, like, your earthly father, right? If we rap like him, it take us farther, please. Yeah. If we rap like our dad, it will take us farther. We'll go, we'll go places, right? Then they think intrinsically some way when I see him do this shit, it leave they father pleased. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. But your father is pissed. Little dudes always trying to piss like they father piss. It's like gener it's a generational, generational, bro. Generational. Kids nowadays, like they they fall into the same trap. That's the whole thing. They fall into the same trap, the same mindset that they grew up around. You're a product of your environment. Shout out to King Los, man. He he's he's painting pictures right now. He's painting pictures. He he's flexing his wordplay and his lyricism, especially on a, on the Forgot About Dre, where this is like an Eminem song. He's got to come with the. You just have to come with a fast flow, right? It's Eminem. You have to do it. Let's keep going, man. Everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but nothing that they make can move me. I'm a movement, niggas moving, I'm moving when the moon lit. I'm from Baltimore, we be stupid and we do shit. And my goons move with a few clips and we let it all scream you, bitch. And we dumb enough to you Nah, bitch. no Let's shot. Roll like it's you too, bitch. Fuck him. Nah, no shot. Is that like the Baltimore, Maryland accent right there? Oh my god, this shit sound hilarious. <laughs> nah, I'm so weak. I'm a movement, dudes moving. I move in when the moon lit, bro. He's saying I'm a movement. I'm someone to rally around. And then he said I make I make people move. They're moving. They're they're getting out of here. They're moving. And then he's saying I move in when the moon is lit. I come out. I come out here. I come out when the moon is 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 shining. When the moon's out. When the moon is lit. I'm from Baltimore where we stupid and we do shit. And my goons move with a few clips. He's telling a story right now. And we let it off screaming, "You bitch." He's describing how stupid, like the, the antics, the bullshit that be going on. And we dumb enough to YouTube it. We record it. All we do is record the fuck shit that's going to get us locked up. We're dumb enough. We're stupid. Bro, come on. Push rock. Make it roll like it's YouTube, bitch. Oh my God. Because U2 is the band, right? The band U2 is rock and roll or is, is a rock band. And YouTube sounds like YouTube because he was saying we YouTube it, we we record it. So yeah, that's just wordplay right there. And he's saying we push rock, we push crack, we push rock and we make it roll. We, we move it, we make it roll. We keep on distributing it, bro. Like it's YouTube. Oh my God. And YouTube is literally the letter U and the number two, like YouTube. Oh my God. Holy shit. Fuck him, fuck her, fuck you too, bitch. I'm on straight bullshit with my new new shit. When it kind of did rapping, you know it ain't a nigga close. But motherfuckers act like they forgot about Los King. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that was the forgot about Dre freestyle from King Los. <sighs> King Los has still got it, bro. King Los is that dude. He's just that good. Like, him and Daylight. Those are my two favorites right now. Easily. They both paint pictures. They both have double triple entendres just in about every other line it seems like and their subject matter they talk about the same shit that we on they preach the real knowledge they literally know how to keep a flow going they both rap fast and they rap they actually say something when they're rapping fast they have so many similarities and it's actually insane and they're both from the battle rap community let me find out battle rappers are just better than than rapper rappers right now let me find out, bro, because I, I must have been sleeping because your boy, your boy never really got into battle rap. I just fucked with like the industry rap my entire life. And, and I'm just now finding out about guys like Daylight and King Los. 
I've always knew about them, but I didn't really like even bother to check them out because I was like, all right, these guys are battle rappers. They're probably not going to have good music. That's typically the stereotype or that's typically the narrative is like rappers who are in the battle scene. They fucking suck at music. But these guys, bro, these guys are actually really good in terms of their technicality. Their technicality is always going to be there. Their technicality is always there. Maybe their songwriting may be a little bit off because, once again, this is on a Forgot About Dre beat. Like, they have no, this isn't really like a structured, planned out song. This is just a freestyle. Just a freestyle, as a matter of fact. But I'm just talking about, like, in, with their music in general. Like, that's the only, that's the only thing I noticed with them. But they're wordsmiths, bro. They're wordsmiths. Simple. Their shit's immaculate. Their shit is immaculate. So that's gonna do it. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to drop a like on the video. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what bars I missed in the comments. And also request some more King Lowe's for me to react to or request some more. And anybody, really, anybody to that you want me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments below, man. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know the fucking vibes. Let's continue to break the algorithms. I fuck with y'all. I appreciate all the love recently. And yeah, man, it's been your boy Unseen. I will catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.